Hello everyone, my name is Dan. How's it going? Hopefully I'm gonna stuff suck in my teeth. I just finished eating a bowl of cereal, but uh, how are we all today? I'll say my hellos in a bit for anyone who's watching a, a rerun. Do we call them reruns on lives now? I don't know. Whatever. Skip about, say, five minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you? I, I don't know. I never know if you can hear me. Straight off the bat. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I do apologize. Replay. Thank you, Gracie Cal. <laughs> Loud and clear. Is it quiet? Am I? I'm really bloody loud. Pop, pop, pop. I'm really loud on my end. I'm popping. I'm that loud. I can't hear. Forgotten Indiana, you're trolling me. <laughs> I'm loud on my end. See, Thorn grows, can you hear me? It's fine. I can hear it's perfect. Am I always quiet? I could have sworn I turned everything up. I bet Windows has updated something while I was in work and like, look, your audio. That's what Windows does to me every time you're updated. It's like, <laughs> goodbye to your audio, Dan. <laughs> you're too good. World, I don't care about the grammar. Where is it? I will change it right now because that does annoy me. Where's the grammar? I don't think I can change it now I'm live, mind. I don't think I can. I'd have to stop the stream and shit goes to... What does it say? <laughs> Where's the grammar? What does it say? Let's talk about stuff and maybe look at thingies. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Animals were there. He's been there, look. He's just waiting. Scheming. Like he always does. Let's and thingies. Ah, oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I'm a Valley's boy. That's how we were taught back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> anyway, how are we all today? Quick hellos. Like I said, skip forward. If you don't like the hellos, tough. Shandy, welcome. Glenda, welcome. Jenny Man, how's it going? Barry Mitchell, yo. Heidi, hey. Halle C, welcome. Bookie 1961, how's it going? Crow Black, black as crows, welcome. Antoinette, welcome. Maisie Rose, how's it going? Dean Bailey, how's it going? <clears throat> Terry, woohoo. <laughs> we might see thingies, who knows? Jenny Mann, welcome. Jaya D, welcome. David James, how's it going? Aurelius ESP, I want to see thingies, welcome. Helen Rim, welcome. Sugar Plumps, how's it going? Simply Spooky, hello there. <laughs> Vicky Eich, welcome. Yes, Kerbo Custom Sup. Deborah Mamula, welcome. Hello from Ohio. Ohio. Do you know that's like, isn't that like good morning in Japanese? Ohio. Waku da, da, waku da doka des. Something like that. <laughs> Sequoia, welcome. Thorn Groves, how's it going? Carol C, hello, hello there. Christine Feeney, welcome. Natalia B, welcome. Big Dan, how's it going? Barry Mitchell, I think I said hello, but I'll say again, welcome. Tantrix, how's it going? Welcome. Jenny J, welcome. Hope everything is good. World, look at thingies. I'm, I'm looking at thingies. <laughs> we'll forget about that right now, right? Just, let's just pretend that it's correct and we won't we'll just forget about it. Paula Williams, how's it going? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh Kim Pierce, welcome. Forgotten Indiana, welcome. Blue Sky, welcome. Three Spires, how's it going? Uh, I think I have everyone. Mon Monique, welcome. I think I got everyone. I think I do. I think I do, son. 
Uh, I, th I think I do. I think I got everyone. Have I? Giselle, welcome. Karen King, hello there. You just probably heard my stomach rumble. Kibba Sullivan, thingies. Welcome. Maureen, how's it going? <laughs> oh, God. I, I hate, it don't really annoys me about YouTube. <laughs> it's, it's the chat skipping when you're trying to scroll through the bloody thing. Mike Larry, how's it going? Raven, hello. Mrs. Geek, welcome. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I have everyone. Kyle Dent, welcome. <sighs> Mark Bowles, how's it going? I think I have everyone. Taking you on a road trip while listening while I drive. Nice. <laughs> Brendan, welcome. Zyrus, ahoy hoy. Zyrus. I love that name. It's like Zyrus. It's like a Bond villain's name. I love it. <laughs> Brent Mackey, Pinhanda. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Putin. Thank you very much for the, the membership for 11 months. You made it early. Welcome. <laughs> Sandra Portney, welcome. You shall not fake. <laughs> Rebecca, welcome. Paul, how's it going? Am I blurry? It could be my tinternet. I don't know. I'm pretty clear on my end, so who knows? I mean, it's probably a good thing I'm blurry, mate. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, bloody hell. Sorry, the, the chat just skipped again. I will get to it. I will get to it. Haunted Truth, welcome. How's it going? I apologize if I missed anyone. P R R. Hello there from Windy and Wet Cornwall. I've never been. Sorry, I, I almost lied. I was going to say I've never been to Cornwall. I forgot I've worked in Cornwall for three days. Long time ago. Paul, welcome. I think I said hello, but I'll say it again. Booberry, welcome. You haven't said that many names yet. It, don't worry about it. <laughs> Gabriel Cortez. Hola desde Mex Mexico. Apologies if I just butchered that, by the way, but welcome. Ramzilla. <laughs> Hello, I am a ghost. I hate your videos. <laughs> nice. <laughs> welcome, Ramzilla. <laughs> um, someone said, hey, Beardo, but I didn't see a Beardo, but I'm assuming it's here. So, hey, hello, Beardo. How's it going? I hope everything's good. Tantown, welcome. Zombies Revenge Studios. Work, lurk. Nice. Welcome. Amy Lather, welcome. Vivian Clifford, hi from Cardiff. Nice. Welcome. Gracie Cal, welcome. I think I said a lot to you earlier, mind. <laughs> it chat keeps skipping. I do apologize. Hopefully I've got everyone. Hammer Toe, how's it going? People get so annoyed at me when they watch this replay and they're like, why is he saying hello to everyone? Because I like to. That's why. Check quality settings on either or oh, my device. Am I am I fuzzy? Am I fuzzy? I don't know. Freya, welcome. Uh, Jenny Man, I think I said hello, but I'll say it again. Welcome. Forgotten Indiana, membership for 40 months. Best channel. I have very much appreciated uh, Indiana. Much appreciated. I don't know about that, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> Foggy Morning, welcome. <laughs> Spookfest, how's it going? I'm the slowest greeter ever, aren't I? Mr. Gray, you need some spooky tacos. I love tacos. I love tacos. I I had my first Taco Bell. People people in America don't like Taco Bell. It's because they because the British we haven't had Taco Bell for that long. I don't think we have. I had my first Taco Bell a year ago, and I love them now. Steve, how's it going? Uh, Ruby Moon, welcome. Aaron, welcome. I don't watch live streams, but I thought I said, no problem, Aaron. I, I much appreciate it. Is it Aaron or Aaron? I used to say Aaron as a kid, but maybe it was Welsh. I don't know. <clears throat> I think I got everyone now. <laughs> I don't think compression science likes your red light then. Go the wrong way around. No. Change Dario. 
That's blue now. Now it's ginger. <laughs> there you go, it's more softer. Taco Bell, no, no, you need a real... I, I used to make real tacos. I make a mean real taco, but I, you just reminded me of Taco Bell. And I like the volcano burritos. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I could go for them, one of them right now. Lonely Goomba, how's it going? I'm rooting around with you for lunch. What are your dinner plans? Well, I just had cereal. Because <laughs> that was the quickest thing I could have before going live. I don't know what I'm going to have later. I have no idea, actually. I'm not even sure where I got my cupboards. Probably nothing. I'll probably eat some warm tasties. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Taco Hell gives the shite. Taco Bell, like I said, I know it's been in America for years. I don't know how long it's been over Britain. I know for a fact in South Wales it hasn't been here that long. So I know that for a fact. USA tacos and Mexican tacos are totally different things. I just like ground beef <laughs> with spicy stuff on it. It's always good. Audio Steam, welcome. Haley C, welcome. I think I have everyone. <clears throat> Do you know who got me first into tacos a year ago? Because he's like, oh, you have to try these. They're the best. <laughs> Rich, my mate Rich. He's the first person who ever introduced me to Taco Bell. Obviously, I knew all about Taco Bell, but I'd never had a Taco Bell and said, unless, until Rich said, oh, we need to go to Taco Bell. And it was the best ever. Uh, Mr. Blobby, welcome. Boomer D, how's it going? Chiquitos make good tacos, but they mostly all shut down. I've only ever heard of che che <coughs> excuse me, Chiquitos in Austin, Texas, from podcasts I listen to, I think. I think. I don't know. Eddie O'Reilly, I had a donut kebab for my breakfast. Nice. <laughs> um, Kathy, welcome. <clears throat> Any gaming with Rich? Yes. Yeah, we keep planning to sit down and do it. He's always mostly available, and I'm like, oh, I gotta do something tonight. <laughs> I can't. Because I'm usually like doing other stuff, like making other videos. But yeah, we, I really need to sit down. We got got quite a few games to play, me and Rich. I am looking forward to it. Paul James Winwood, welcome. My mate Di as well. She lives in Wales. We both work at Bristol Airport. Nice. <laughs> My mate Di is such a Welsh name. Di. Di. I used to work with the Di twice. His name was David Davis. <laughs> so we call him Di twice. Such a Welsh thing. Uh, taco can't... Oh, honestly, I got taco on the brain now. That's a problem. Fake ghost videos? Welcome. Back to work? No, no problem. David Smith? How's it going? Graveyard Flowers? Love that name. Welcome. Sab's Workshop? You put the at symbol in front of your name. I, I, I don't know what we're talking about. Del Taco has larger portions of far less money, but I only found it in Southern California. Del Tacos. I think of you to that. I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. Iranian. Mexican food is not made for square bottles. <laughs> I love Mexican food. I, I like spicy food. Anything like spicy. I like Mexican food, Indian food. I just like, to be honest, I like food. I like food in general. <laughs> I eat like I'm bloody 50 stone. Probably about 400 pounds in uh, American terms. <clears throat> Did you see Apache attack at your end? They came over Bristol going towards Wales. I'm assuming you're talking to Aaron now. I did not see them. Uh Mr. Iranian, once again, thank you very much for the gifting of the five memberships. Much appreciated. DM Baby Girl, welcome, by the way. Um, right. I think I have everyone on. I'm still saying hello. People's, people watching this in a replay are probably getting proper pissed off. Not the David Davis from the government, no. Growing up, I've known about three die twices. <laughs> One of them... He was born David Davis, and he didn't change illegally, but from, like, 
uh, I don't know, whenever he, I didn't know him at a young age, but he had everyone call him Paul. I think it was his middle name because he didn't like being called Die twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. Do you want to... I die! Die! And that's it. He called him. <laughs> K. Evans, welcome. <laughs> Hello, M. Thank you very much. Bloody hell. Thank much appreciated. Thank you for the surprise video today. Now I want to make tacos. Thank you very much, Helen. I, I very much appreciate that. And you should go absolutely go make tacos. I want to make tacos now. Who wants a taco live stream? <laughs> Maybe next time. Just came, just got back from a photography hike that you inspired. Ooh, nice. Um, Graveyard Flowers, I will remember your name to try and hopefully if you post it on a YouTube channel somewhere, I'll have a look. Or on the Discord, I have a Discord. I keep forgetting. Jen gets annoyed at me when I don't, uh, when I don't um, <laughs> promote the Discord, which I've forgotten how to do that to be honest with you. What bloody hell do I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure that out now. I'll to, to share the Discord link. I've completely forgotten. Uh, Taco Tuesdays. Mr. Prison, welcome. Here in the Netherlands, we still have to figure out what Mexican food is. Mexican food is ground beef. I'm going to offend loads of Mexicans now, but it's ground beef with, like, probably, like, peppers... Guacamole, probably some onions, maybe some spicy herbs, herbs, sorry. <laughs> Is my mouth watering? <laughs> it definitely might be. <laughs> oh, chorizo. Oh, we, we need to not talk about food right now. <clears throat> Edward McCrindle, welcome. Apologies if I missed anyone coming in, by the way. Uh, my mind was wandering to food. Do you watch any Urban Explore channels, especially now they are dabbling in paranormal? Uh, I don't watch the ones which dabble in paranormal, but I I do watch Hell on Earth. I love Hell on Earth. <laughs> Some people don't like them because, you know, they're a bit naughty. But I really enjoy Hell on Earth. I have for years. Um, I used to watch other Urban Explorers. Who do I used to watch? I, to be honest, I can't remember. I mean... Exploring with Josh used to be one I used to watch. I didn't watch him religiously, but I used to watch like an episode of his way before he got into the paranormal years ago. I'm trying to think of others. I don't watch the ones which, you know, they see shadow dudes. I watch actual urban explorers. <clears throat> but the only one I still watch to this day now, and I, I always watch every upload, is Hell on Earth, because I really enjoy this stuff. They don't just do urban, urban exploring. They do like cave, cave shows. Always enjoyable. And now they're doing like, now and again, they do like, almost like Top Gear Grand Tour challenges. Is I'm really enjoying it. It's really cool. Uh, oh, I got to show you something now as well. I completely forgot. We're upgrading. Uh, sorry if I've missed anyone coming in. Ryby, welcome. I've never heard Die, but it's so close to my name. <laughs> die is short for, well, it's Welsh for David. Not Welsh, but it's... It's die. It's die in Wales, basically. Thank you, Jen, for sharing the Discord. Uh, morning rain, welcome. Oh, shit. Um, I love hell. Yeah, I love watching Hell on Earth. I really enjoy it. It's like a, it's a film I usually watch in bed. It's like my go-to-sleep videos. <laughs> watch it with Ryan and Shane. I love Ryan and Shane. I've said this so many times. They're my two favourite paranormal people. Ryan and Shane, I really enjoy watching them. Explore with Josh just did an abandoned theme park in China. Nice. I yeah, I think he's I think he's I I haven't watched him for a long time, but I think he said he's going away from the paranormal now and going back to exploring. I don't know. So maybe I'll have a look at his uh videos at some point. I know a die welly and a die chip. He was called Chip because he liked chips. Well this is the thing with Welsh uh, Brent. You're gonna some some people's gonna get a Welsh lesson, now, right? I, I'm assuming it's like this in the, the parts of the world and the country as well. But in Wales, you have Julian the Milk, because he was a milkman. <laughs> you have Dave the Post, because he was a postman. 
<laughs> Whatever they trade is, that's their surname. Not legally, but that's what we call them. It's like, um, where else? Die the chippy. Not because he likes chips, but because he's a carpenter. And stuff like that. <laughs> that's, that's how I always grew up in uh, Wales. You know, that's, that's the way we always say it. It's always quite funny. <laughs> it's funny when you think of it, you know, in context. But when you're growing up, you think nothing of it. That's Julian and Milk. <laughs> Cheers, Aaron. Thanks for stopping by. <coughs> That's definitely Wales, yeah. <laughs> She'd be Mr. Stream. Well, I, I rarely stream, so I don't know. <laughs> I can see your chat, uh, Rebecca. Uh, Kaza, welcome. Sorry if I missed. I can see someone saying hello to you. Wolfgang Gaming, is it Paranormal Bingo? Not today. Speaking of bingo, we're upgrading when it comes on Wednesday. You saw a little thing in. Ready? Ready? Look at that! Look at that! We're upgrading the board. It's easier, look, I, I had it printed this time. So I can just write in the squares now instead of like drawing the ones like I did on that one, which was a bloody nightmare. We're upgrading the paranormal bingo box ready for Wednesday. Don't do that. <laughs> Mona Green, thank you very much for gifting the membership. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Oh, excuse me. Rosie's Cottage. Hello from Hubby and me on the road in Scotland. Nice. Welcome. Uh, I have a man in a yellow house down the street. <laughs> <clears throat> Bros of Decay. I've never heard of that one. I'll have to check him out. Caught the end of Seg Live last night. I always miss Seg's Live because he does it like one in the morning, usually. Yeah, they go yeah, they go into the conjuring house tonight. I forgot about that. Where in Wales are you? South Wales, Eddie. Well oh, you cut your head off. It's I, it's my it's my um my YouTube banner. I don't have a head on my YouTube banner. Obviously, I just replaced the uh, thing. Yeah. Ouija Brothers, welcome. I hope everything's good. Uh, Foggy Mon, not missing it yet. <laughs> my, dog, my dog thought the knock was at the front door. <laughs> my English friends were boring with nicknames. It was just surname plus Y. Smithy, Brownie, Rosie. <laughs> Dan Disorder Sapning, there you go. Dan Disorder was another, we talked about Urban Explorers, Dan. It was another Urban Exploring channel I used to enjoy. And they still do on Journeymen, by the way. They just come, well, they, they, they've they been from America for a while now, but they're still putting up American videos. They're very much enjoyable. Uh, Journeymen, go watch them. Dan Disorder is part, part 50 part, 50% 50 part next to Jordan Boss. And I always enjoy him. Two Welsh, two top Welsh blokes. Uh, do you know much about the Witch Church Hospital? Um, I, yes, is it accessible? Well, the thing with Witch Church, one half, half of it is still a working hospital. And I think, I think if you ask permission, they will let you into the other wing, I think. If I, could, I might be thinking of a different hospital, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure... I've seen people go in there, but like I said, half of the hospital, excuse me, is still a working hospital, if I remember correctly. Uh, Jimmy Walker, wish I could, no, no problem, Jimmy, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Have you moved house yet? I, I moved, uh, uh, Steve, I assume. <laughs> I moved house in November into the coldest house, most expensive house ever. It does my head in. I'll probably be moving in another year now. I, I just bloody know it. Panel Monkey Podcast, welcome. How's it going? I still watch Exploring Fighters. I never, you know, I never watched Exploring Fighters until all the drama they had a um, couple of months back. But I I think they mostly paranormal stuff now, aren't they? So I don't know. 
Like I said, I, I the Urban Explorers, I usually only watch for the Urban Explorer, and I don't watch it when you know, look at the Shadow Dude stuff. I just enjoy... I, I enjoy the history and decay of old buildings. I really want to get back out and do stuff like that, to be honest with you, but the weather's been absolute shitballs for about six months now. Zara's Bazaar. Greetings from Alaska. I can't believe I caught the live stream. Welcome. Spanian. I don't know what Spanian is, Jen. <laughs> Anita Kane, welcome. Sorry if I've missed people coming in, by the way. Terry Echoes, how's it going? Uh, fantastic publishing. Well, oh, no, sorry, this is a gift in. I do, who's, who's gifted? Sorry, I've missed stuff. I do apologize. <laughs> I've missed stuff. Um, Mandy and Amaka. Who's that now? Is that, I think they, yeah, no. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, my chat is completely screwed up now. Uh, Steve, welcome, by the way. <laughs> Have you a board with all the options to take off, as they're called? No, Kibber, but... Maybe I can use the other board for that, actually, thinking about it. I can wipe that down and just use the official upgraded board for the stuff. <laughs> Did you use a ruler? No, I used the Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. They're wider that way than that way. Now, the reason I did that for a reason. Because if I made them all uniform, enough for me to write in, the board would have had to be been higher. And I didn't want it to be too tall, because when it goes on the thing, I don't want it to be, like, you know, too tall, basically. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be easier. Use a pick of you in that beetle wig. <laughs> right, I'm so far behind. I, I got to catch up. Sorry, I'm so far behind bloody chat. I like the wig in the thumbnail. Yeah. It's a cool wig. It's not my wig. I bore of it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly have wigs lying about the house. Like, you know, just because I'm a bald dude doesn't mean I wear a wig. Most of the time. We sneaked into Witch Church and it was tense. Oh, nice. I've never been there. I know of it. I fu I'm fully aware of Witch Church. Oh, excuse. oh, yeah, by the way, congrats, uh, congratulations, Ouija Brothers, on this, sorry, silver play button. <laughs> very, very well done, uh, Ouija Brothers. That's a cool little uh, milestone. I, I couldn't think of the word to say then. Uh, <laughs> Squidgy Bros. <laughs> Those nicknames would be terrible. My surname is pronounced like Bush. <laughs> Bushy. Oh, Bushy. <laughs> Don't know what I was doing with the hand then. <clears throat> What's my favourite podcast? Right now it's morning somewhere. There's a couple. I have a couple. I, I always, I constantly listen to podcasts. One I always go back to is the Ricky Gervais show. Just because it's, it's something that I constantly go back. It's like a comfort podcast. Um... I like I enjoy Morning Somewhere, which is a new podcast from Bernie Burns and a Ashley, his wife, who former Rooster Teeth. Whether you like Rooster Teeth or not, I I I very much enjoyed Rooster Teeth. Even you know, they, obviously it's some of the bad stuff they had going on. That is what it is. But I've I've been enjoying Rooster Teeth since like two thousand eight. Um, I like the Anma podcast. Uh, it's mainly Rooster Teeth podcast. <laughs> But yeah, um, I listen to a lot of podcasts. But Ricky Gervais' podcast is probably one I constantly go back to over the years. Almost like every six months, I'll check it on at work. If I'm having a bad day in work, I think, I'm going to check the Ricky Gervais show on. I, I'm pissing myself laughing within five minutes. It's always good. <clears throat> Any new podcast with Parple? Yes, absolutely. We, we did speak about it, but obviously he's been busy, I've been busy. But we are going to get to it, hope, maybe, possibly this week, I don't know. Uh, sorry, 
chat just skipped again. Graveyard Flowers, much appreciated. Welcome to Mr. Gray's world. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ, someone, sorry, something caught the corner of my eye and it was just my foot. <laughs> you may as well get the camp van the amount of time you move. I know. I mean, you don't watch CJ? Who's CJ? I don't know who CJ is. Mr. Gray, tell all tell about the diagonal rules in bingo. There's no diagonals in British bingo. Somebody told the audio steam told me that the other day. <laughs> There's no diagonals in British bingo. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> um I'm so far behind chat. Uh, I like the urban exploration, especially when they take the boat to islands with tunnels. Are oh, you talking about Hell on Earth? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they're cool. I really enjoy watching them. <laughs> Nick F, thank you very much. I'm, I, 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 I'm thankful that you enjoyed the thumbnail. Tuck Norris, welcome. <laughs> Lady Sonia, how do you play? How to play the bingo? Find out on Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a traveller, but I may as well be, uh, Steve. <laughs> to be honest, with you, I may as well be. <laughs> I saw the that the new Beetlejuice. I'm usually against sequels, nostalgia sequels, we call them. If they like, I'm usually against that stuff, but I I cannot wait. I can't wait for Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton, he's always good. So I'm I'm all in on Be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't say it three times though. Maybe they're keeping that for the th the the third film. Then they'll be three times. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to um, Beetlejuice. <clears throat> How far behind am I? <laughs> what are the rules? <laughs> what can we add? Waffling. We're gonna add new stuff uh, by Wednesday, Helena. No problem, Maisie. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your Zoom meeting. Uh, let's pin because I never pin stuff. There you go. Thank you, Maisie. Um, Mr. Gray, are you named after the Greys? No, I'm not. And I'm not also not uh, uh, named after... Well, I'm named after a Grey. But not 50 shades of Grey, like people think. <laughs> um... Mr. Gray, you should move to Newport. It's so great to never leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I used to watch a local guy on YouTube who did Urbex Exploring until I got suspicious and mentioned it to the shape. Well, the thing is, I, like I said, I used to watch a lot of um, Urban Exploring stuff. And I, I, I love history. I loved it in school. I've loved it since leaving school. And I still love it to this day. I love the I love the history of stuff, you know, buildings, places. Like I, I love reading about American history. I love reading reading about British history and countries all over the world. I, I just love history in general. So when urban exploring started up a couple of years back on YouTube, I, I used to enjoy watching them. That's when I started making my own as well. Not it was years after the urban exploring videos came around. I started making my own, but. I just love going to old, old de decrepit buildings or areas, standing in them, and just trying to imagine what it was like to roam the halls of this once stunning building, which is now crumbling. I, that's what I like to do. So when I when I'd watch those urban exploring videos, that's what, that's what I was watching it for. I was watching it for the history, and um, but then when you get some people like you know. The door is opening. Oh my god, we need to get out. We nearly died. That's the end of it for me. I don't watch. I don't watch urban exploring videos with that stuff. So, yeah, um, yes. Yeah, so the you know the ones which have the paranormal stuff like in the urban exploring, I I don't watch them. So, but to each their own when the when it comes to that. Uh, bingo ball locks. <laughs> Darth. Welcome. I was trying to say your surname, but I couldn't say it. Welcome. 
I'm really far now, aren't I? Mr. Iranian, wife and I picked up Missing 411 book. is very good. Oh, nice. Uh, thank you very much, by the way. I'm really far behind now, aren't I? Because I'm just catching up. Oh, there you go. Someone mentioned it. I actually like the Mr. Ballin podcast as well. I, I enjoy missing it. But I, I enjoy listening to it. But sometimes I have to stop because you listen to dark stuff constantly and it's, it tends to get you. And you think, I, I need to watch like fluffy puppies on YouTube or something. <laughs> Uh, why files is annoying that rings a bell but i'm not sure what that is i'm pretty far behind i i am pretty far behind oh excuse me where's the wig it's downstairs somewhere lights out podcast that rings a bell as well but i'm not sure <clears throat> Rocky Payne, welcome. Uh, Goomba the Parapod. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was the name of the podcast there, Parapod. Trevor, welcome. Again, the Parapod rings a bell, but I'm not too sure. I struggle separating art and artists, so I avoid your face now, like Rowling, Linhan, and IOD. Which IOD is that? Is that that comedian? I can't remember. Uh, one of the American sites is going to do Mothman. M Man Moth? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going back to Radio Vase stuff now. Uh, everyone should check out Weed and Wild, West Virginia. Very good podcast, all about everything strange and scary. I, I like listening to podcasts about strange and scary things, but I also like listening to podcasts about just everyday stuff as well. Doesn't have, always have to be scary, weird stuff. I like that stuff, but... I'll, I'll listen to anything because you know if I'm in my car driving, I rarely ever have music. It's always a podcast. It's always a podcast on in the car. <clears throat> uh, no diagonals, no four corners, no crosses, just straight bingo. <laughs> this is the first time you made like, well. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm far behind again. I sorry. Am I going fuzzy? It might be my internet. Um, well, let's find my end. Uh, can't wait for Beetlejuice. I can't wait for Beetlejuice either. I, I love... The first film is like one of my go-to films is that. Ghostbusters. The first one. I, I like the second one as well. It scared me in the cinema when I watched it and I had to leave. Um, Back to the Future. Everything in the 80s actually. <laughs> Isn't General T she is uh Dean. I'm really far again. Did you watch Roadhouse? No, I haven't. I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I'm definitely gonna watch Roadhouse. I loved the original Roadhouse. Uh Patrick Swayze, rest in peace. And uh what's his name? I always forget his bloody name, his older mate. The southern guy. He's really good. I always forget his bloody name. He's in We Were Warriors as well. Or When We Were Warriors. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, the new Roadhouse. I'm I'm going to watch it. The, the trailer looked all right. I think... Fair play to Conor McGregor. He's, he makes a very good bad guy. <laughs> in the trailer at least. Anyway, so... I'm, I'm definitely going to watch the new Roadhouse. Uh, you would like you would like the old World War Two tunnel near me if you like history. If you ever come over the bridge, I'd love to go there. Uh, there was the World War Two tunnel about twenty miles away from me. I went to a couple of years back, and I had to crawl through a gap to get in, and I really enjoyed it. You got to watch Broken Window Theory. What's that? I don't know what that is. Wasn't even exploring, just playing around out as a. As a lad in the 80s, yeah, it was, Barry. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's exactly what I used to do. I was out for all hours. 
there's different times back then you could do that like you know you could be out not like early hours in the morning but like late at night playing fox and hounds up the mountain that's what we used to do <laughs> Well, that was the best. By by the way, by by playing fox and hounds, I mean, uh, there'd be like fifteen of us. One group would have to like count to five minutes, and then they'd have to chase down the other group, and it'd be all around the town. It was the best best time ever back in back then. Oh, I miss those days. I love the history explorers too. When they do the research and make it interesting, I don't know who that is. I'll have to look them up. Sam Elliott, thank you. <laughs> Dune 2. Paul, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I only recently watched the first Dune, the, the Dennis Villeneuve Dune, uh, a month ago for the first time. I absolutely, I loved, I loved it, honestly. I absolutely loved it. And I can't wait for the second uh, film. Apparently there's going to be a third. No spoilers, please. But I don't know. <laughs> Um, I just <laughs> I just bring a light bulb to catch Mothman. <laughs> I will not be watching it. Well, Alien Romulus, I'll be watching it. I'm hoping it's just not a um because I from the trailer I, I like Alien stuff. I, I liked Prometheus. I know it's it's the worst out of the lot. I liked Alien Covenant. I don't care. I liked it. I just like sci-fi and that universe. Alien Romulus, I watched the trailer, the trailer was good, but there was like things in the trailer, it was like, it looked like they're just trying to recreate shots from the original Aliens, which, you know, Sigourney Weaver comes out with the, the pulse rifle, the, you know, the, the smoke in the background, the noise, it was exactly the same in the trailer with this new girl, I don't know who that is. I hope they're just not going to do callbacks. Callbacks are good if they earned, but... If you make a film just for callbacks, it tends not to be as good. But um, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely looking forward to it because I do I do like that universe. So <clears throat> I pre-ordered Mr. Bolan novel. Oh yeah, Pat, I I didn't see it, but yeah, I know he did a live stream and he's making like a graphic novel or something. Should be interesting. There's, there's one on Spotify about the, i got to say this correct now, because people from there get annoyed. Appalachians. Am I saying that right? Because <laughs> I always say Appalachians. Appalachians. I'm sure i probably saying it wrong, actually. Eh? Sorry, she knows. Uh... Astrid Dietz. <laughs> the, the Dietz. <laughs> All the trailers of the new Beetlejuice have been faked. No, what do you mean? Wait, there's an official trailer out. They released it day before yesterday. It's official. It's an... Or do you mean misleading? Is that what you mean? Is that... I think that's what you mean. Anyone seen the new Ghostbusters? I haven't seen the... The first Ghostbusters, the, the first sequel Ghostbusters yet. The one from 2021, I think. I haven't seen that one yet. So I need to watch that first. <clears throat> um, CJ is the reason I started looking into the bunker. I've seen him flinch before something was... <laughs> oh, CJ Faison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been caught out loads of times over the years. <laughs> He's in Ghost Rider as well, and I can remember his name. Well, Sam Elliott. Um. <clears throat> Watch the original Roadhouse on Saturday. My wife hadn't seen it. Nice. <laughs> I, I'm missing stuff now, right? <laughs> I just watched the Alien franchise. Was that your first time watching it? The Alien franchise is something I go back to almost every year. I do you know, the funny, funny story about the Alien franchise. Now, the first Alien, I can't remember when I first saw that. I was I was a kid. I was under the age of 10. I know that much. I didn't see in the cinema. I'm not that old. 
<laughs> but Aliens, I remember when I first watched that, I borrowed it off a mate. And I, I'm assuming people remember back in, the, back in the day, if you had a VHS player, you'd have short play and long play. But if, like me, you had the older version, which did only short play, if you put a long play video in, it'd, be, it'd run at like five times the speed and they'd all be speaking like chipmunks. For the first year of watching Aliens, I watched it like that. <laughs> I'd always put it on. I was probably, I'm going to guess, Aliens came out in 1986, was it? And I probably had it on VHS in 1986. 88, 89, maybe, I don't know. I used, to, I used to watch the sped up version for the first year until I got a proper version. <laughs> but that's how I first watched Aliens. And it's, even then, it still scared me. Even though it was sped up and it was all speaking like chipmunks, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the things you do as a kid back in the 80s. <laughs> but I, I absolutely love that entire universe, Aliens. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the Crow remix. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm in I'm in the minority when it comes to Crow. I re I really didn't enjoy the first Crow. I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I remember we, I think me and a couple of my mates either rented it or something. I can't remember, and I can't remember a lot about it. And I think I got bored. And every time I say that, I was like, oh my god, he didn't like Crow. No, I, d I didn't like I didn't like the Crow. I didn't like it. Maybe, I mean, I've only seen it that once. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood. Maybe I should go back and watch it. I don't know. But I could not get into it. I can't watch it. It gives me nightmares. <laughs> They're the best. They're doing a new Alien film set between 1 and 2 with the old stuff back. Oh, is that what Romulus is? I didn't know that. Is that what Romulus is? I had no idea. That's interesting if it is. Well, hang on. That's the story. Is That's the story of Alien Isolation, the video game, isn't it? That's set between one and two. I wonder if they're going to do that. No, I can't be. I don't. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I love that video game, by the way. One of the best movie tie-in video games ever produced. Alien Isolation. Such a shame, it's never going to be a sequel. Uh, <laughs> OG Wicker Man. <laughs> well, not the Nicolas Cage one. <laughs> um, I've seen the first one before many times, but I've only just seen the other ones. The alien ones. Humdinger, welcome. <clears throat> Uh, Alien is my favourite movie of all time now. They're on Laserdisc. Nice. Laserdiscs. Prometheus. I do alright. I, I, for some, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But when it comes to Prometheus, I watched, when I first watched it, what was that, 2008? I first watched it and I thought, oh yeah, it's enjoyable. I wasn't blown away about it, by it, but I really enjoyed it. And I've seen it like about 10 times since. <laughs> but for some reason... I love the soundtrack. I love... I play the soundtrack. It's on one of my Spotify playlists, which I constantly listen to. And I absolutely love the soundtrack to Prometheus. And maybe that's why I like the film. I don't know. It's The, the soundtrack is... It's in the beginning, the, the, the track I'm going to describe it to you. Know, the track I really enjoy is like... I think it's French horns playing. And you see the landscape of Scotland present day and then I think it fast forwards like a hundred years and or something I, I just I don't know it's just it's the, the the music just it invokes adventure and exploration to me which I just love that's why I like the soundtrack uh, mate used to record the wrestlings for us I had to remind him constantly to put on short play <laughs> yeah I, for years, I had a VHS which which could only play short play. So whenever someone gave me a, an LP long play video, I, I just watched it like the chipmunks. Uh, Sam Elliott is also in The Big Lebowski. One of the best films ever made, that is. <laughs> <laughs> 
First alien my neighbour came to watch on VCR just as the alien burst out the chest <laughs> behind the creeper. Oh, bloody hell. That's, that's, hor that's still horrific to this day. That film, the first alien movie came out in 1979. It's still to this day one of the best sci fi horror films ever made. Ever made. And I'll stand by that. Uh, gotta go to work. No problem, Ruby. Thanks for stopping by. Alien is, is very HR guy guy inspired, which I love. All that organic bio is awesome. In fact, I like his work so much. My throat tattoo is based on his... St nice, Paul. Nice. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Love playing Alien game on the PS1 Alien Trilogy. Excuse me. I had it on the Sega Saturn. In fact, I still have it on the Sega Saturn, the Alien Trilogy game. Really good game. I have the alien isolation so hard and scary, and scary work so hard to build up stuff then get killed. It's a good bloody game, or it's one of the best ever. It's a sl people. Some people didn't like alien isolation because, like, the first two hours. I don't want to spoil stuff, but the first two hours they say is a bit slow. It's the build up, but when you get into it, oh my god, <laughs> it's freaky as hell. Uh, I loved Alien Isolation, but they kept it open for... Yeah, I know, D. I, I remember the ending, and yeah, I agree. They kept that open for a sequel. And I think the reason we'll never see it is because it was Creative Assembly. It was the publisher, if I remember. And they, used to, they usually did RTS games. And they did an amazing job on Alien Isolation. But for some bloody reason, it didn't sell as much as, like... Um, who is it? Is it Sega or... I can't remember who owns it now. Sega or Fox, sorry, Fox. Didn't sell as much as they wanted. And you had some this is why I don't listen to reviewers, right? You had some reviewers. Mr. Rainian, thank you very much. It's a horrible scare game. Much it is a very scary game, right? I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant about reviewers now, right? I tend to avoid reviews of video games, movies, anything, whatever, right? Because I, you know, in my eyes, reviews are very subjective to the person reviewing them. If you are not in the mood to play a horror game on that day, but you have to for work to review it, I don't care how unbiased you think you're going to be, you're going to give it a lower score than if you were up for a horror game. That's what I think. And I know reviewers, there was some, you know, there were some reviewers who gave it a good, this is the problem. Some reviewers gave it a good score, I'm talking about Alien Isolation now. And then there's other reviewers gave it like a, a two out of ten. I can't remember who that was now. And I was like, are you getting serious? Two out of ten? I think they got slammed whoever that review was. I can't remember who it was. But like, it's the... this it, Reviewing things is so subjective. And that's, the, that's why I tend to avoid them now. <laughs> I've avoided them for years. I, maybe I'll have a quick look to see like... What type of game it is or what type of movie it is but as for like their opinions on whether it's good or not i tend to avoid because the amount of times especially with video games the amount of times a video game has come out and then you see a review saying this is the worst game ever don't play it i thought well all right then well, maybe i won't then so i'll get on a steam sale i'll play it and like this game is bloody amazing i can't believe i waited <laughs> That's why you should not listen to reviews. <clears throat> Sorry, where was I? <laughs> oh, I guess so worked up about stuff sometimes. Stuff which just doesn't matter. Uh, you're right, that's when the game's set. It says the film is 20 years after the first film. That is when the game is set. Oh, I wonder. No, it can't be. I don't know. I don't want to think about it because I'll get myself worked up for no reason. <laughs> Helena M, thank you very much for the gifted. Much appreciated, Helena. Uh, <laughs> Arachnophobia scared me to death. I couldn't sleep. I... I I liked the rat in the phobia when I first saw it, but it did scare me. Even though I'm, I'm fine with spiders, it did make me jump. I must admit. <sighs> uh, 
Life Force is supposed to be as, as Life Force is a good uh, sci-fi wing. It's a very good film and it's quite scary as well. But it is a good film. When was that? That was probably nineteen. At the guess, that was probably nineteen eighty-two. Or maybe actually, maybe it's late seventies. I don't know. Thinking about it, I don't know. But it's a good film. And again, an awesome soundtrack. I used to have it on CD. I got free with a movie magazine. <laughs> Back in the CD plays days. <clears throat> uh, they never showed the effect of the alien bursting through the chest of the rest of the cast and aliens, so the other actor's reaction in the moment would be shocking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right? Everyone, in this scene, you're going to react to an alien being born. That's all they're told. And then all of a sudden, that shit happens. <laughs> They were expecting something else. <laughs> uh, Brown coat, welcome. Alien Romulus is the name of the new movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went to see a film, The Woman, in the box office. I haven't heard of that one, Jenny. You went very Welsh when you got worked up. It was <laughs> this is not a pipe. <laughs> Don't listen, we can make our own minds. Exactly. Exactly. I'm far behind again now. And I each one welcome. Uh, the new spider movies coming out look so scary. Which new spider movies? I haven't seen any new spider movies. Life Force was 1985, bloody hell. Oh, sorry. Agree with the reviews Oppenheimer should have been the best movie ever made to kind to be kind, let's just say it's not the best. I still haven't seen Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I really want to watch it. But I haven't seen it yet. Just type in new movie trailers. There are three, three new spies. I didn't even know. <laughs> My husband loves Life Force for obvious <laughs> I know what scene you're talking about. <laughs> Space vampires. <laughs> also, the soundtrack from the Event Horizon. Event Horizon is such... I remember when v Event Horizon came out. I love that film, by the way. When, I remember when that came out. And again, that movie got bad reviews in the magazines. I don't think the internet was a thing. It was around, but it wasn't a thing back then. But I, I seem to remember Event Horizon not getting the best of reviews. No, rightly so, people love that film. In fact, the Event Horizon is probably the reason that um, Dead Space, the, f the games, exist. <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Uh, should have the Mind Seed Diorama for you next month. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. I look forward to it. I only sold Sign of the Lambs a few days ago, blood. Yeah, I haven't seen that for years. Another cracking film. Oh, that's right. I didn't like Oppenheimer. I still haven't seen it. I really want to see it. Killer Murphy was great. Killer Murphy's really good in a lot of things, man. He's a damn fine actor, if you ask me. Directors of Savage years ago to try and get the best results on screen in The, sh in the Shining. Shelley Duvall, a.k.a. Wendy, was sleep deprived to, and shouted that a lot to me. Yeah, Kubrick um, put them through the ringer. Well, it's a bit her especially. I don't think that would fly on uh, sets today, to be honest. You <laughs> I mean you didn't do Barbenheimer? I didn't. I haven't seen Barbie either. <laughs> the crazy girl. I'm, I'm very behind on my movies. <clears throat> uh, Vent Horizon is a brilliant yeah it's it's an awesome film <laughs> I think the last horror movie I, I liked was Night Swim I've heard of that I haven't seen it sorry that's my chair creaking have you played Fort Solace I haven't I don't know what that is Tell her what I've been playing recently, mind. Sons of the Forest. I'm really enjoying it. I loved the first game, The Forest. I loved it. And I'm really enjoying Sons of the Forest. 
Uh, prefer sci-fi historical to horror. I like anything. I, I mean, I probably lean more towards sci-fi and horror. But I, I'll watch anything, as long as it's a good film. Um, I don't know why people were upset with Barbie. It went with the wife. I mean, it's a Barbie movie, so I'm not sure what people are expecting. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> North by Northwest, when the guy is running through a cornfield, Hitchcock put her tarantula in the field so the guy would actually be scared. <laughs> what a deal. Tim Sunday. Uh, no, no. I'm. Do you know what? Uh, thanks for asking, by the way. Uh, it's, it's not. It wasn't sinuses. It was. It was psoriasis or something. But I do look a bit red there now. It's because I'm hot. It's because I'm warm right now. But the cream I got, it's it's almost pretty much gone. But yeah, I'm red there now because I'm warm. That's all that is. <laughs> The smile was good. I really enjoyed Smile. It was a good film. Um, oh yeah, Flower Moon. I still haven't watched that. We need a community Discord horror film watch. That that'd be good, but I don't know. I would, you know, yeah. You know that that is a possible. I'd actually enjoy that. Maybe we can do something like that soon. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. We could all pick like a, a year or something and pick a film. I think that'd be actually a good idea. I quite like that. I've been trying to find the Shining TV miniseries Stephen King did. I, I've ne I've seen clips of it. I've never seen it though. But I know that Stephen King liked the TV series more than he did the film. Because it was more... Um, oh, excuse me. It was more like his book. I've read the book as well, by the way, quite a few times. It is a very good book. <clears throat> uh, have you seen? Uh, we were just talking about a snorkel bottom. Welcome. <laughs> we were just talking about the alien from Australia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I think you have an amazing name. <laughs> snorkel bottom. Mr. Snorkel bottom, can you help me, please? It's like some little roll doll. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, turn off sugar plums. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, <laughs> Will you just be streaming any game in? I do actually want to do that, Craig. I don't know when yet, but I have to find the time to do it. But I absolutely want to stream a video game at some point. <clears throat> Uh, I can host it. I know how to do it. Let me know and I will make it happen. I think I think I think it should be okay. But yeah, that's a good idea, Grace Cole. Lord Snorkelbottom. Susan Lawton, welcome. Um Pet Cemetery, I haven't i I've 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 seen the original, but I haven't seen the remake which came out a couple of years back. I like a lot of Stephen King stuff. I've got a lot of his books, not all of his books, but a lot of his books, which I've read over the years. And yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen the remake of Pet Cemetery Mind. Creepiest movie you ever watched? What was it? Vivarium. I haven't seen that one. I've heard of it. I'm sniffling now because it's on my mind. <laughs> Did you watch the newest Batman? No, I haven't. Again, I really need... There's so many movies I have not got around to watch. Mainly because I don't go to the cinema anymore. <laughs> last, time I, last time I went to the cinema... You, you're going to love this one. The last time I went to the cinema... Was The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> I went on my own. Like a, the little nerd I am. <laughs> that was the last time I went to the cinema. Um... I loved the Roald Dahl books as a kid as well. I used to read them all the time. <clears throat> I 
Uh, the Shiny Moon series on DVD. I'd never seen it. I also enjoyed the... Um, what's it called? The, the sequel with Ewan McGregor. I actually enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. What was it? I can't remember what it was called now. It's not called Shining 2. I know that much. But I did enjoy it. I thought it was a cool little sequel to the original. <laughs> Jaya, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Um, it's nothing to do with this, but the outsider just reminded me now. Anyone see? Did anyone see Outer Realms? Was he called that? I'm pretty sure it was called Outer Realm. I think I watched it on Amazon Prime. Is with Josh. Brawling. It was really bloody cool, really weird as well. And hopefully they'll do a second season, but I, it just popped into my head now. I thought I'd mention it. It's a cool little TV show. Uh, I, like, I like the new Holly audiobook. I don't know what that is. Misery and Carrie. Carrie used to scare the crap out of me. Misery. Everyone knows. I used to wince. Everyone who's ever seen that film, I've read the book and it's different in the book, but in the film, I still wince just thinking about it. The ankles is the worst. And, you know, in the book, it's, she doesn't break his ankles. It's very different. But the film, oh, I still wince just watching it. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, God. I haven't seen Misery for years. A Holly by Steve... Right, I got you, sorry. I'm watching Red Dead Redemption 2 right now, really long and involves. Oh, the video game? Or are you watching someone playing it, you mean? I have that on PS4. I still haven't played it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it drives me up the wall that I always miss Bingo Box. <laughs> I'm at work, but I love watching it. I appreciate it. I will at some point, because a few people have said they can't make it, because obviously it's different time zones. Or for those for those who just popped in, by the way, we have a new board, which I will be using on um, Wednesday. But um, I do plan at some point soon, don't know when yet, of making it a lot later so other people can join in as well. Sometime soon. <clears throat> Outer Limits. Love it. <laughs> Wisdom, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. St I, I can't, Tantrix, I can't wait for Beetlejuice 2. I cannot wait. I usually, I usually, I'm, I'm not usually that excited for sequels so far away because, so far away from the original, I mean, because they tend to be like, not cash grabs, but, <sighs> I don't know what to say. A nostalgia trip, which is good. Nothing wrong with nostalgia. But they tend not to be as good, but I am excited for Beetlejuice 2, I must admit. Uh, outer Range. Thank you, Mr. Iranian. Outer Range. What was I saying? Outer Realms. Outer Range is a bloody good show, if you ask me. Stupidly weird, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse, sorry. I think I'm all of a sudden. The oldies coming out without a limit. <laughs> the May of Chicago looks like Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, God. Ever seen Tales from the Dark Side, old school show? I think it's the one I'm thinking of. The hobbling scene. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not it's just not cricket, is it? From misery. Maybe I'm based, but trick or treat is still one of my favourite horror movies. I love that. I I'm not sure which one that is. The board does indeed look good, Rocky. We are upgrading. I think Keaton doesn't age. He's just, he's just over, he's just cool. He's one of those actors which, proper cool. Like Keanu Reeves, whether you like his films or not, he's cool. <laughs> it's the same with Michael Keaton. <clears throat> By the way, I watched, um, 
because it just recently came up on Netflix. What do I watch? What's it called? Matrix. I don't know what what it's called. The the latest Matrix. It was alright. <laughs> it was alright. It didn't need to be made, but it was okay. I enjoyed it for what it was. I like that universe. But it was very weird. Very strange. And I and the Matrix is weird, obviously. But the first Matrix was mind-blowing. But this one, I, I, I don't know what they were doing with it. Do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, Burton said he wouldn't do it without Keaton reprising his role. Wait, what are we talking about now? Are we talking Beetlejuice or Batman? I'm assuming Beetlejuice. Uh, it's all good and well, but I work until 10 p.m. UK, then I tend to crash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with him doing the Batman reprise, I think it's probably the perfect time for him. I get freaked out by the theme to the Tales of the Unexpected. Isn't Tales of the Unexpected without, without woman's like belly dancing in the shadow? Isn't that? Or am I thinking of something else? If it is that one, I used to love that show. <laughs> I think that's the one. <laughs> You've close to 3,000 hours in Red Dead Redemption 2. Bloody hell. <laughs> Is out of range on YouTube. It, it I watched it on Amazon Prime, Natalia. I think it was Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon Prime. Or was it no TV? I can't remember. But it's a good. It's a good show. <sighs> I don't like cricket. That's the one. I used to love that show. Purple welcome. I was going. Is it? It is not clickbait here. It's just the way I comb it sometimes. <laughs> Matrix Revolutions. Thank you, Rosies. Yes. Uh, have you seen the Friday the 13th series TV show from the 80s? No, I haven't, actually. I didn't even know there was a TV show. Uh Scream. I like the first two screams. After that, they probably didn't have to. They just changed it into a scary movie, actually. Um, I just started writing a story from a ghost perspective in my channel. It's called Am I Dead? Oh, nice. We'll have to check it out. <laughs> Benny Hill <laughs> <laughs> the woman dancing. I used to love Tales of the Unexpected. Honestly, I used to love that show. It was like it was like murder mystery weird stuff. And like I probably watched that. When was I? It was probably like seven o'clock in the night in the UK at least. Anyway, I used to love that uh, show. What movie were you excited to see but was completely let down by when you saw it? That's a tough question for me because I tend to like... <laughs> I like good movies, obviously. But I also enjoy crap movies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, there's no doubt films out there I was disappointed in. But I can't think what they are right now. Tell you what films I did. Oh, here we go. I forgot about these. I watched I, one I've seen before, but I watched it again last Saturday. I was just in bed watching TV most of Saturday. <laughs> but I also watched, I, I watched two films. One is a low budget uh, film on Netflix called Time Trap. It's very low budget. I really enjoyed it. I've seen it twice now. I always enjoy it. I don't know why. B movies are they are awesome. I agree. But I also watched, and this isn't a B movie. I also watched um, in the shadow of the moon. I really enjoyed that film. Both both of those films I just mentioned are obviously 
I don't want to spoil it too much, actually, because uh, In the Shadow of the Moon is a very good movie. Go watch it. It's on Netflix. Time Trap is a good, damn good movie. I've seen it twice. It's bloody good. <laughs> it's low budget, but I really enjoy it. <sighs> Blade Trinity was hot <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I don't remember much about Blade Trinity, uh, Trinity, but the first Blade, and actually Blade 2, first Blade, I can't remember who made the first Blade, but I know Guillermo del Toro made the second Blade. But the first Blade, when was that, 98? Was it 98? 97 maybe? I think we rented that, me and my mates. And instantly, the scene in the beginning with a do 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 just chopping up vampires was one of the best intros I have ever seen to any movie ever. It is the best. The pig sticker. I haven't seen Blade for years. It's so good. Oh, I need to watch it again. It's been years since I've seen the first Blade. <sighs> the new Blade movie. I think the Blade movie's on hold again. I think they've lost its director. So I don't know. <clears throat> first Blade was amazing, honestly. And the second Blade was actually really good. And the, 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 the vampires. What's his name? Bross. <laughs> Matt Goss, I think it is. He was the drummer in Bros. Anyone remember Bros? He plays the head, the villain or the main, the main vampire villain sort of. And they have those open out mouths, and it was horrible. Bloody good film though, Blade Two. Um. Sorry, my chat has just skipped. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Trust Pablo to lower the tone. Huh? <laughs> my bottom hath stopped ejecting. <laughs> oh, you can always count on Pablo. <laughs> M. Night Shyamal Shyamalan, I like his films, sometimes the, it's, it's obvious, if that's the one you're saying, I think you're saying M. Night's, I'm, a two, I'm assuming you're talking about M. Night Shyamalan, I do like his films, his earlier stuff, I think his later ones, you, you know there's a twist coming, that's the problem, he set himself up now too much as being the guy with the twist, so I don't know, but he, he did definitely make good films. One of my favorite, obviously, you got the you know the obvious like Sixth Sense and stuff. But the, one of my favorite films he did, I'm pretty sure he did, was um, oh I always forget the bloody name. I always forget the name. What was it? It's about two kids who go to their grandparents, and I can't remember the name of it. And it's always bloody good. <laughs> it's always good. And there's one part, and I'm not going to mention it too much. It's, well. It's underneath the house. It's so fucking creepy. So bloody creepy. Luke Goss was the drummer. Sorry, D. Yes, he's the head vampire in Blade 2. I can't, I, can't remember what, I can't remember what that film was called. Christine, thanks for stopping by. No problem. The Visit. Thank you, Craig. I, I've seen that film three times now, and I remember first watching it. It was so good, honestly, it was so bloody good. And it was like parting off, and you're like, oh my god. It's just like, you're watching it like that. Because you think, it's going to get me now. <laughs> the Grandma and Visit The Visit. I don't want to spoil too much. If you haven't seen it, watch The Visit. It's bloody good. Yeah. What's the time, right? I'm not going to go too f much longer now. I know Purple is streaming tonight. <laughs> excuse me. And I need to make food soon. Oh, excuse me. But I could talk movies all bloody day, to be honest with you. Uh, I quit watching movies about five years ago. No patience. 
Bucky should give some films a go. I know some t- come out and they're a bit shite. There's a lot of good movies out there. Uh, one of my favourite fight scenes isn't in a horror film, but the fight scene in the second Kingsman, the Kingsman were awesome. Awesome films. Nothing to do with the Kingsman, but you just remind me. I grew up watching Jackie Chan films, right? <laughs> And I used to practice every single move I'd watch in his movies. To the point when I was about probably 11, 12, maybe 13 years old, I almost broke my neck by trying to do a roundhouse flying kick off my settee. Couch, to those who don't know where settee is. But I absolutely loved watching Jackie Chan movies growing up. One of my favourite films, not just Jackie Chan, but in general, is Project A. I love it. Tim Sunday, thanks very much. Much appreciated. I just thought I'd pop that in because we're talking like uh, fight scenes. <laughs> Two kids is going to the grandparents that doesn't narrow it down. Well, that's all I want to say, Kibber. If you haven't seen, go go. If you if you haven't seen the visit, go watch the visit. That's the beginning. I don't want to say much more than that because it'll spoil stuff. No, no problem, Spooks Fest. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be stopping soon anyway. <clears throat> the Ring is really the only movie that freaks me out. Which one? The Japanese version or the American version? I mean, they're both good. Hitman Asian 47. Wasn't that with... Um, the first one was Timothy Oliphant, if I remember. And the second one was with that dude who was briefly in one season of 24. I think. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, but I saw the Timothy, Timothy Oliphant one. <laughs> Japanese ring is fantastic. Yeah, I agree. No problem, zombies. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Justified. I don't remember an elephant. <laughs> Timothy Oliphant also as well played a really cool space sheriff in, I think it was season two of The Mandalorian. Or was this season one? I can't remember now. They all melded into one. But he was really bloody good. He was really good. Cynthia Rothrock, bloody hell. I have not seen a film of hers for years. Welcome back, Sugar Plums. I'm going to be stopping soon, by the way. I haven't seen a Cynthia Rothrock film for years. Cynthia Rothrock, Roth, uh, can't say it. Her, I used to watch her films around about the same time I used to watch Steven Seagal films. <laughs> now, before you say, oh my God, I can't believe you watched Steven Seagal. I was probably like 11 years old or 12 years old. When we were growing up as kids, we all, in school, I know for a fact, we, we all thought Steven Seagal was the shit. We all thought he was the shit. And then we got older. <laughs> And then we realise he's not the shit. He's just a shit. <laughs> Thorn grows. I absolutely love The Mandalorian. I even enjoyed season three. Not everyone enjoyed that. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Anything. To, I, I just like Star Wars. I don't know if you've noticed. You got little R2 over there. I got Luke Skywalker over there. I got Wally, he's nothing to do with Star Wars, but I got Baby Yoda right there. Look at this, I think I've showed this before now. I've showed this before, but I just want to show it again. 3D printed Baby Yoda. <laughs> How good that is. Isn't he just the best? He is just the best. And yes, he does have a chip to you because I dropped him while I was moving. Well, he fell. I didn't drop him. He fell. Okay. <laughs> no retreat, no surrender. Under Siege, one of the best films ever. And when we were teenagers, we all loved the birthday scene. I'm just saying. <laughs> <coughs> Elna, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I've never seen the Sharknado movies. I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Even the ones who people think 
they're a bit shit. I like them. I don't care. I just like being a... If, if there's a universe in movie culture, I mean, if there's a universe I like, it could be the shittest movie ever. I still enjoy watching them. It's just the way I am. <clears throat> Baby Yoda is Grogu, yeah, he's adorable, I agree. I want a 3D Jason Voorhees. <laughs> I know he's not Baby Yoda, Haunted Truth. I was just saying what they were calling him <laughs> before they called him Grogu, I know. I'm fully aware he's not Baby Yoda. Papa, I'd be so up for a Star Wars podcast, absolutely. I'd be up for a Star Wars podcast. Uh, oh, hang on. Going to start a fight with a, this controversial opinion. Star Wars TV shows are better than the sequel trilogy. <laughs> I like the sequel trilogy, but I'm going to agree with you. To an extent. The Book of Boba Fett, it was okay. That one episode where the Mandalorian was in, it was the best. But the book of Boba Fett was okay. Mandalorian is amazing. I love it. Um. Hmm. I'm trying. What are the TV? Uh, I'm trying to think. What are the Star Wars TV shows? <laughs> oh, Ahsoka. It's good. The but the book of Boba Fett is Mandalorian. Season, yeah, yeah. I know it is absolutely the season two point five. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I've never seen Star Trek, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Lord of the Rings. I've never seen the Hunger Games, but I've seen all the rest. <clears throat> I like oh, oh, Obi Wan. Another one not everyone liked. I loved it. I just like Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan. I think he's brilliant as Obi Wan myself. Soka's my favorite Jedi, white Jedi. I, I saw Star Wars in the cinema when it first came out. I wish I did, honestly. Didn't like Obi-Wan, but I liked the character. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, back to the Future movies are my favorite tr trilogy. I recently watched them again a couple of months back. Ahsoka Tano. I like the original Star Trek and his movies. I like anything which takes me out of the real world, to be honest with you. <laughs> We're my She-Hulk fans. <laughs> Such a shame that TV show is, honestly. Because... Yeah, What's that? I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name who plays She-Hulk. I'm assuming you're talking about the newest uh, Disney one. Crypt Monkey, welcome. We are going to stop soon now, by the way. Um, but I think it could have been good. It just got too stupid. It got too it got too much like the comics. That's the problem. I think it should have stayed away from some of the stuff from the comics, if you ask me. Starship Troopers, one of the best movies ever made. And I eat again, like I said earlier, I even like crap movies. I even like Starship Troopers too. <laughs> Most of my content these days is YouTube. <laughs> Blue Tucky, welcome. I am going to stop now. Uh, Purple, are you streaming at 7 or 7.30? I forgot. <laughs> I play Starship Troopers Extermination every night. Is that the newest one? I only played the... The, um... Beta. But I did, I did enjoy it. 7.30 for the pub, all right. I'm, I'm going to have to stop soon because i, I got to eat soon. Because like I guess I, I eat everything. <laughs> yes, we will be doing... I don't for those... I, like, <laughs> I, just, I was wondering why I was getting so short and my chair is sinking. Sorry. For those who don't know, from Wednesday, we've upgraded the board. We've upgraded the board. I cannot wait to use it. It's probably going to be stinking by the end of the day, but uh, on Wednesday we will once again be playing Paranormal Bingo Bollocks. And we're just going to have a good time. I lost my heart to a Starship Trooper. 
should I get Alien? Yeah, Fake Ghost, yes, you should absolutely get Alien Isolation. Definitely play it. But like I said, it's a slow burner video game. Don't expect it to be guns blazing and stuff like that. It's not that kind of game. It's very bloody good, though. It's very good. <laughs> right, D, on that note, I am mending it right now. Thanks to everyone for stopping by. Very much appreciate it. I know I don't give that much notice, but I always appreciate people who stop by. Bingo Bollocks is indeed the best. <laughs> and, um... Purple, let me know when you want to make the newest episodes. I think we will possibly Star Wars or the other thing we were talking about. I'm up for it. And I'll probably see you in your live soon anyway. But anyway, I'm going to wave now. It's the only way to stop these lives. And I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. <laughs>